What's up, y'all? It's Emil Inish Jr. back here with Clever News, and Leah Michelle is reportedly working on herself after her Glee castmates caught her out recently for her vindictive and mean girl behavior on set. In case you missed it, after Leah Michelle posted a tweet in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, many of her former Glee cast members spoke out against her, especially due to her behavior against Black co-stars. Samantha Ware was the first to call her out, replying to Leah's tweet about George Floyd, saying, quote, LMAO, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Davier Snell, who appeared in the series back in 2014, also took to Twitter writing, Girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there. F you, Leah. And more of Leah's co-stars, including Heather Morris, followed suit, sharing their negative experiences with Leah on set. Heather tweeted saying, quote, Let me be very clear. Hate is a disease in America that we are trying to cure. So I would never wish for hate to be spread on anyone else. With that said, was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. For Leah to treat others with the disrespect that she did for as long as she did, I believe she should be called out. And yet, it's also on us because to allow it to go on for so long without speaking out is something else we're learning along with the rest of society. And amid all this drama, fellow Glee star Amber Riley shared this tea sipping gift. As more and more claims came out against her, companies like HelloFresh ended their partnerships with Leah. And for more details about what Leah's co-star said about working with her, we've linked another clever video above. Anyway, a few days later, Leah posted an apology saying that she, quote, doesn't remember the instances on set, but that she clearly acted in ways which hurt other people. She went on to apologize for her behavior and said she will, quote, be better in the future from this experience. Many people continue to criticize Leah for her apology, but it looks like she may be ready to make some changes. While Leah has remained quiet since her statement, a source told Us Weekly that, quote, this experience has made her reevaluate her behavior in the past. This has been a serious learning lesson and she is committed to making these adjustments as a complete life change for the future. She is listening to those who have come forward and has been reaching out to initiate open and honest conversations. And another source told Page Six that, quote, Leah has been working on trying to patch things up between her and her ex co-stars now that they've started to talk about her time on set and how she made them feel over the years. She's had a real wake up call. It's never easy to hear people speak about you this way. It's a total shock. The source also added, quote, Leah was up to a lot of people who are now taking the opportunity to come forward. She may not be the nicest person, but she's not racist, sexist, or transphobic. I would say she has behavioral issues that she's dealing with. And a source backed up this statement to Us Weekly saying, quote, she was completely self-obsessed, but she did not discriminate against any of her co-stars. It didn't matter if you were young or old, black or white, it's just kind of her world. So it seems like Leah has taken some time to work on reflecting both on how she made her former cast members feel and her own alleged behavioral issues. And fans are taking to Twitter to share their thoughts on all this. One person tweeted saying, quote, she's literally had someone from every major project she's worked on complain about her awful behavior. I don't know if she's racist, but she's clearly an insecure tyrant who is canceled for me. And I used to be such a huge fan. Disappointing, but someone kinder can get her jobs. This person chimed in and said, also, I don't think Leah Michelle is racist, just a b And this person also called out the people tweeting about Leah, who is pregnant with her first child, saying, quote, as much as I agree that she deserved to be called out, attacking her unborn child is uncalled for. Let's hope this is a massive wake up call for, she'll grow up and learn from this. But others are concerned that she is only taking action to make her wrongs right for her own personal gain. Like this person who tweeted saying, quote, she's just afraid to lose her projects and endorsements, and she should have done this years ago, not now that she's being canceled. And another person chimed in writing, Leah Michelle didn't apologize until her brand deal got revoked, LMAO. And like we said before, Leah has yet to speak out again about all of this, but according to those sources, she's trying to work on herself and have conversations in private. We will obviously keep you all posted as this story continues to unfold and let you know if Leah speaks out again. And here at Clever, we wanna make it clear that we stand with our black coworkers, friends, viewers, and everyone else impacted in this fight for change. We will continue to cover these stories and have these conversations because like we said, this is only just the beginning. We've linked resources down in the description below with ways to get involved. And please take a moment to click right over here to find out why this issue is so important to us here at Clever. And let us know your thoughts in the comment section below about all of this Leah Michelle drama. I'm your host, Emilinish Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.